Hi guys, this is Mrs. Humphrey and my lovely assistant. Me, Molly. Me, Molly. We're here again, wants to do another art project with you this week. So I hope you're having a terrific week and that you're finding times to be creative and to make some creative things, whether it's with artwork or whether you're building with, um, with blocks or Legos or whatever. All those things are great for stretching all those creative muscles in your brains. So that's good. Those are good things. Okay, or music. <laughs> Music's great too. But um, but I'm going to share with you guys a fun art project that is something that you can do. Okay, so for this art project today, you'll need some. You'll need a couple pieces of paper. You're going to need um, some glue. Um, we have some glue sticks, but you could also use tape or white glue if you have that, or gel. Any kind of glue would work. Um, and I think those work the best, though. Oh, those are great. But if you don't have them, there's you yeah. can use other things. Um, and some scissors. So whatever scissors you have. Okay, um, and as a clue, we're gonna talk about mosaics. Now, oh, I took right on it. I know, it's hard to see. There we go. So um, mosaics are artwork that instead of being drawn or painted, they are- um, Made out of stuff? They are made out of tiles. Um, traditionally, they're made out of glass tiles and um, you, an artist would get like these sheets of glass and you would use these little snips to create these little, um, the sizes of these tiles that you want. Um, or that you can get them actually made and buy like little tiny square ones. And, and then, and then artists will very carefully, um, take those tiles and they'll lay them out in, um, in patterns to create images or, um, or just even a pattern. Um, kind of like, you, you know, putting tile on the floor, except for with much smaller and in, with the purpose of making an image. Or an artwork. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So the artist we're going to talk about today, he, um, his name is Jim Boucher, and he's from Chicago, and he started doing art, um, graph, um, grew up loving art and, and studied graphic design, and he was on a trip in, um, gosh, I should have looked it up. I think, <laughs> I can't remember if it was Italy or if he was the Middle East or somewhere, and he saw some mosaics, and he was, and he became very interested in the mosaic and making mosaic artwork and so he started making them um and at first he was making them in sort of on in frames or in on boards where he could hang them up and but then he started making these cool uh, mosaics that he would put in the city streets okay what? and so he would actually he actually in chicago started traveling around and looking for potholes okay what? Do you know what potholes are yeah the holes in the ground kind of they're holes in the street so sometimes when there's really heavy trucks that go through an area a lot they the, the road starts kind of breaking away and you get these holes in there and um or ice can or ice can cut and weather and rain can cause the gravel hail, to start coming like, up very hard oh yeah usually not that <laughs> but so different things can cause potholes to happen and Let then me. and the more you hit them the deeper they get and they get really annoying especially if there's one right by your house you go like Doom. Yeah. Every time you pass. Yes. By. And everybody's like, "Oh, mom, why did you hit the why did you hit that pothole?" But Sometimes um, we try to miss them, and we go, "New, new." Yeah, that we happens too. Them. So, so Jim Boucher decided to not only help his city by filling in some of the potholes, but to actually create some artwork. So here's this, another picture of this of this artwork that he made, and it's actually in the street, as you can see. And so he's filled in the pothole with cement, and then he's very carefully laid these these tiles in there to create these images and he's done a bunch of different stuff um i like i thought this one was really cool with the ice cream sandwich mm, i'll show you this so picture happy. again when i hold up really close you can see all the teeny little tiles that are in the chocolate mm, bar part of it, it. Shh, molly stop okay um and but he does all kinds of things. He does animals and food. There's one that's a broccoli, <laughs> and there's one that's a cat, and there's one oh, that's um, a box of cereal. And um, one like, oh, that would be a good thing to put in a yeah. pothole. One of the cool things is he's even um, during the um, quarantine, he's he has stayed busy and found ways to make art, and he actually created some um, a series of potholes that are all about things that are important to people right now. Or what people think are important, like soap, hand sanitizer, soap, toilet paper, soap, <laughs> and so um, included with this um, with um, wait, they are important. Why do you say think? Well, they are important, but but <laughs> yeah. So 
um, included um, with this link to, of this video, you can, I've put a, um, a connection to, or another link to an, a news reporter who did an interview with um, Jim Boucher about his artworks and the ones he's doing right now for the, um, during the quarantine. So you can see those and see him talking about his artwork and that. Uh, ice cream sandwiches are a good theme. I know. I like the ice cream sandwich. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our own mosaic. So the first thing we need to do is, is make our tiles. Okay. Now we don't have, again, we pro most people don't have glass tiles laying around and maybe your parents don't want you to be playing with glass tiles because it can be like dangerous. Break a glass. Here's some glass. <laughs> yeah, I think. Um, so we're just going to use paper. Now we have a lot of extra paper because we've been printing out Molly or up until recently we have been printing out Molly's math homework. So we have stacks <laughs> of old math homework <laughs> that um, that make great scrap paper. Okay, so you can see you guys using this one as a back to put behind behind my paper, so right on the table. Ooh, that's, that's a good yeah. use of paper. Um, and then, so um, you probably have some extra paper like that lying around. I so see, that is what we're going so to make. Homework. That is what we're going to make our tiles out of. Okay. Um, I did a couple of different ones. So you could see some different ways you could make this. That's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, I used, I used, um, you can use anything you want to color in your paper to make your tiles. With this one, I used crayon. And you can see I just kind of made blotches of color. So you could just color with crayon however you want. Or if you want to put some patterns in there, you could make patterns. Um, if you don't, if you have crayons or markers, you could even just use pencil. Um, or a pen and just create um, some patterns. I made these sort of stripy patterns on this um, with just um, a gray. Mm, I like that one the best. Yeah, that one turned out really cool. And then with this one, I used markers and I made this with all different colors of markers. Ooh, that one's pretty too. Oh, it's so very pretty. fun. Okay, so then once you have your pieces of paper colored in with however you want to color it, okay, however you want whatever you want to do and use a full piece of paper. I've already cut part of this one off. That's the reason it's smaller. Um, then you're going to cut your tiles. Okay. Now, um, these are some that I've cut with the, that marker paper. You're also and going to need scissors. Yes. You're going to need your scissors for this. And then here's some left, some ones with my, um, the gray and white one. It looks just like random shapes. Yes. I just use random shapes with the, with the markers. I decided to make all of them into triangles. Um, you can, but you can decide what size and what color of, of shapes or what size and what um, shape of the of your tiles you want to make. Okay, and now I'm going to show you what these will look like when you get them on. Okay, so with my, um, this Crayons. is my one I did with a crayon and I cut all of them into squares. Okay, so that's a little bit, so it's a, so I thought this kind of turned out really cool and it was a fun thing to put these together. And then, so once I cut them out, then I glue them into these patterns. And if you want to, again, make patterns with this, if you want to do like a blue stripe and an orange stripe and a blue stripe or something like that, you could do that or you can just do it random and kind of have just a cool artwork with this that is um, not of anything specific, but just kind of, a, of cool colors. Okay. Um, with my black and white one, I did... My gray and white, yeah. Um, but gray is a tone of black, so they call it black and white. So with this one, I use all different kinds of shapes, not just um, squares or, or triangles. And I mixed them all up, as well as some really random shapes that were um, like this one. That's just, it's not anything specific. Okay, so it doesn't have to be anything specific. This is the one I'm still working on of my, with the markers, and I cut all of those into triangles. And this was, and this has been really fun then to go and glue these on and kind of decide how I want that to look. So this is what you're going to do today for I your project. I don't know which one I like best. <laughs> like, I like the one with a bunch of shapes, but then the triangle ones were like super cool. Yeah, it's fun and you can do more than one. But and then this like pretty pastel kind of colors. Yeah. Oh. So you can decide, even you could even use watercolor to paint your paper and then let it dry and then cut it out into shapes. Um, you can make oil your pastels. oil pastels, um, anything you have that you want to color your paper with and then, um, and then it is fine. And then you can just cut, even if you have colored paper, you could even use that. Um, You're an ant when you walk down. Stop. And so, um, 
So have fun making this. Get um, get creative on how you're going to make your tiles. Think about the, what colors you want to use, what shape you want to use, and, and then put them all together on your piece of paper um, with whatever you have for glue or tape or what, whatever you can use. Um, I would... If you want to send me your artwork so I can see it, that'd be great. You can send, you can post it on the um, Lake Young's PTA um, website, or you can, or on um, Facebook, or you can, or even maybe the Lake Young's one. I'm not sure. Okay, so have a great week, and we'll bring you another project next week. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, where's the off? There's the off. Bye. <laughs>